of pride it's your boy amari back at again with another reaction video today we are getting into another devil may cry 5 ost this one is subhuman it's dante's ost i do know dante he was the main character in the devil may cry anime so that that is the experience i have with him he was a pretty cool dude so i'm pretty excited to get into this hopefully you guys are having a great day and in the meantime i'll be seeing you guys on the other side Okay, so, yeah, intro was fire, came in with, with the atmospheric pads and, like, guitar feedback, and then they started doing that riff. It was interesting because the drums in the background, very bass drum heavy, uh, sounded like they had a little double bass going on in there as well, but they, they sounded like they were tuned in a specific way or like you know all the highs were removed or whatever the case it may have been they they sounded hollow almost which was like a, a really cool um contrast to the thickness of the chords and then yeah came in with screams immediately i'm seeing that the composer for this is different than the guy who composed the other two devil may cry five ost songs that i heard so interested to see how this guy does it still a similar vibe of like some electronic elements and rock elements mixed together this one obviously seems a lot more rock influenced so far so yeah let's go Okay, yeah, so that was, that was kind of dope. First off, I don't think that we've had full um, screams or, um, you know, vocal fry, whatever whatever you want to call it, the screamo vocals. I don't think we've had a, a full song of that so far in any of these games I've reacted to, so that's interesting. Also, this guy, Michael, who I'm assuming is the singer, because uh, it says performer, so he had like a little bit of staccato going there in his performance, which gave it like a very rhythmic, almost rapping kind of feel, which was really dope. Um, yeah, this is really cool so far.
Okay, so this is really interesting. First off, I I don't know if I've ever heard a chorus of um, Screamo. Not chorus as in the section of the song, like a, a choral section, multiple, you know, 10 different renditions of Screamo harmonizing together at the same time. Uh, that was that was awesome. <laughs> I, I've never thought of that such a creative idea. Um, yeah, this song is very interesting, though, because at any given moment, there's uh, different ear candy happening of, of random this feedback or, um, you know, sine wave distorted things happening. There's, there's so much like weird craziness happening on, on the, um, outside on, on the, on the edges of the song that it, it's kind of that plus the, the way that the vocals are delivered and, some of what I'm getting from the lyrics because this video does not have the lyrics on them So I'm just having to listen and you know make out what's happening in the song while listening to it. It it Feels like like one of the the lyrics was um, you can explode or something like that like trying to contain rage or or Chaos and that's kind of what this song feels like. It's it's like containing intensity and I think that's really dope. It's it has a, a lot of um, narrative elements to it that are more than just, hey, this is a good song. I don't know if I it, if it just took me to this section to notice it or if it wasn't happening earlier, but uh, in this section, they definitely have an electric drum set being the the drums um, instead of like an actual acoustic drum set, which I think is really cool. I think it bridges that um, separation between the very rock-esque all of the the rock-esque melodies that are happening via the the assortment of guitars um and the other electronic elements whether whether it be uh the crazy distortion or pads or um some of the other sound effects and different things that they have going on in the piece and so i was trying to trying to hear if it came in and came out like in different sections but it, it sounds like it's just playing so it may have been there the whole time and i just was so caught up on all the other crazy things happening in the, the piece that i didn't notice before but uh, it's definitely happening happening now and i think that that's really cool
Okay, so the waveforms are being distorted in, in some kind of way on certain specific instruments. And I don't know if they're doing that via like, th there's a ton of ways you can do it. Uh, for example, a whammy bar can do it on a guitar, or you could use the uh, platters on like a DJ controller or deck, which are like the big vinyl record looking things. There's a bunch of different ways to do it, but this kind of reminds me of um, Rage Against the Machine in the specific way that they are manipulating the waveforms, um, kind of in a, a record scratchy kind of way, which I think is cool. I'd be very interested to know like, if there was like some behind the scenes on the creation of this, composition of this, or even the composer talking about it, cause that would be dope. I know that there was one for Bury the Lights and I watched that and it was super informative. Um, so yeah, th this, this is a really cool piece. Okay, yeah, that was that was really dope. I feel like this song, the appeal of it is probably more niche than Bury the Light or Devil Trigger, definitely than Bury the Light, uh, and probably than Devil Trigger as well, which explains why it was recommended less to me than those other two songs, but it was still a really great song, which explains why it was recommended at all. It combines so many different elements, and in a first listen, I understand how it could be hard for some people to follow it all the way but i really liked it i thought it was um very complex in the composition and also thematically appropriate that that sounds weird but it it fits it fits um from what i know about dante as a character it is a great theme for him and yeah, I overall liked it. Let me know what you guys thought about the song in the comment section down below. If you guys have anything else that you'd like me to react to, definitely make sure to leave that in the comment section as well. While you're down there, definitely make sure to like and subscribe as well. And I'll be seeing all of you guys here on the channel next time.